Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Rhythm. So this evening, we are going to find out, are they going to put a ring on your finger or not? This is group one. This is group two. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to do this backwards. I'm going to share the Tom stamp, like the Tom Oracle cards with you. Then we're going to talk about the reading. That way, you already know the dates, and then we go from there. So, later than you think, January, way off in the future, it's not worth waiting for. Got a couple more. The next full moon. Next month, ah, somebody's going to be very happy. May, at a special date, next year. And I'm going to get one more card. Damn it. Let me shuffle right quick. Let me get one more so it'll be even. And then we're going to start this reading so you guys know. M, will, not M, will you be getting the ring put on your finger or not? Or not? Is that how, is that how the young folks say it today? I don't, I don't know. Oh, shit, this is crazy. Wait a minute. Wait, the, these just popped out. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to have to take three more. On a holiday... It's worth waiting for and just around the corner. So this is what we're about to do. So if you pick group A, this is going to be your reading. Destined. So, yes, you guys are destined to be together. Um, You guys probably have over some, not all. Because this is a collective reading. So some of you guys have had a lot of challenges you have had to overcome. This has not been an easy road. For others of you, it, it, it's like a fairy tale. Some of you guys feel like you're in Disneyland, Disney World. And you're just like, oh my God, like, I'm ready for my person to put a ring on my finger. When are they going to put a ring on my finger? Like, hurry up already. Like, you're driving me crazy. Do you want me? Do you not want me? But either way it go, group one, group A, your person does want you. They do want to put a ring on your finger. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that and I'm hearing. Um, the problem is, is they're trying to make everything basically perfect. And in this world, there really is no such thing as perfect. But to them, they like, look, I only got one shot to do this right. I don't want to mess this up. Um, but this is meant to be. So you need to have faith and you need to believe that, hey, all is well. They're going to put a ring on your finger in due time. Don't, don't, don't try to leave them and all that because it's like, oh, if you don't put the ring on my finger in the next six minutes, uh, next six, not minutes, next six months, I'm out. I'm gone. Like Dave Chappelle. You know, like, don't do that. Like, let's not do that because, like, I feel you guys are soulmates. This is your twin flame. Um, This person really does care about you deeply. This true love, th this is true love. Like, this is the love of a lifetime, and I know I say that. I've said that in another reading before if you have watched one of my other long readings, um, but I'm going to keep this short. This is true love. Um, this person, you got, one of you guys melt, like your heart melts. Um, one of you could have trust issues, possibly, or you've had trust issues, or you, you've been through a lot. Maybe you got mommy issues, daddy issues. Um, or maybe you just had a lot of people use you, hurt you, and um, neglect you. Um, also, I'm hearing for some of you guys, you guys have never had anything serious. So you dated people, you messed around and stuff like that. For some of you, 
but you haven't had anything serious like this. So this is much different. Um, there are a lot of demands for some reason I'm, I'm, I'm feeling um, in this connection, in this in this group A reading. Like I feel like you like somebody is very demanding, but they don't mean it in a bad way. They just it's like they're trying to teach you or either you're trying to teach them and you, you guys are helping one another grow and develop. Um, when you're showing someone and I'm saying this from a coaching standpoint, if, if someone is showing you how to love them, that's a good thing. Um, when someone is not, um, it might be because they have a hard time expressing that or they don't know how to. Um, one of you or both of you, I feel like could be a leader. Um, that's not the case for everybody, but it could be so. But like it could be so for both people. So both people might like to sit back here and have control. Um, that's not everybody, but that's just for a small few, few, not flu, few. But the problem is, is you guys got to look what one person is good at and the other person is not do that. Like, don't try to dominate everything. You know what I'm saying? I know we got this whole um, alpha Sigma thing going on. But what I'm saying is like, look, work together. You guys have a partnership, a bond. Um, as I said before, this is the love of life of a lifetime. Um, it doesn't get any better than this. Some of you guys are um, distant soulmates meaning you guys have been together before, you guys are well connected, um, and you guys get another crack at it, so please enjoy, um, your person will be putting on your, a, a ring on your finger faster than what you, what you think, um, wedding, this situation involves marriage, so yes, this situation does involve marriage, um, so be very grateful and i'm not saying it like an asshole or anything but like like yeah like be grateful be happy you you two are gonna have many great like blessings and 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 like dream of one another hell like look like stop being so damn serious like like this man right here he's all serious and his wife is just like sitting there looking at him side like kind of happy and she's like i'm i'm gonna break your ass yeah i'm gonna you're you're not gonna keep on being serious i'm gonna break you i'm gonna break you it's okay in due time um he has no idea like this woman has planned so much in her head already uh, and, and this could i could be talking to, to the divine masculine or the divine feminine like one of you have so much planned in your head already. It's not that you're taking over and you're trying to control everything. It's just the fact of like you're just so hyper. Like you have to know what you need to do in six months, what you want to do in a year, five years, stuff like that. You already have like this plan together. But remember, you have to include your person in these plans and what you guys want to do. This is deeply a beautiful connection and love story um blessings to you all please share like and subscribe if you liked group one group a um yeah and if you want a personal reading or you want a one-on-one -on -one question hit me up for that um my email will be in the link below all right. Thank you so much. OK. Now it is time for group two, group B. This group, I'm really feeling like it's going to be a little bit different. Um, I really do. So this is the odd man group, but Let's just chill. Fall back. So, no need to worry. Take a break. All will work out. So, for some of you guys, what you have to understand is like, look, this connection is not going fast as you would like it to go. It's going much slower than you really anticipated it to. 
But what you have to understand is all will be okay. And I'm not saying that for everybody because for some of you guys, this is not your person. Like you're not with the right person. This person you're with, it was just kind of a learn a lesson for a season and for a reason and for you guys to move on. This is not your soulmate. This is not the union that you're, you, you know, you originally are supposed to be with. Um, so just be patient. I know that you're like, what the f do you mean rhythm? Be patient. Like, look, it might be a reason why you guys need to fall back and you guys need to take this break. Maybe you guys need time apart. Maybe you guys have a lot going on and one of you is not able to put what they need to put inside of and in, into this relationship. And I'm not saying that they don't love you or they don't care about you or they don't cherish you, but they're, they, they could, I, I feel for some reason, not all, but for some of them or you, you could be battling demons right now. Um, you could be in the dark night of the soul. You could be going through hella tower moments right now. Um, you're, you're still, you might be young. Maybe you're a little immature. You're still trying to figure your way around the world. You love them, but for some reason, I'm feeling like you're you care more about your career and the money. You're not like some of these. Uh, if I'm talking to a woman, some of that's that's feminine. Um, you're not like some of these chicks that. You, if you're in college or something like that, or if you're young, you want a ring on your finger. You're not like Be Betty or Julia, you know what I'm saying, who wants a ring on her finger while she's in college or while she's at the start of her career. You, you like for some of you, you want to wait until you in your damn 30s. And what you don't understand is you might be getting ready to lose a damn good person by doing that. Because, look, I'm going to say this, a real man and I'm not being, I'm just going to say this. A real man don't give two shits about your degree. I'm not, look, I'm not, my wife might watch this. Um, there, there are probably women who respect me who watch this. I've said this to one of my um, children's nannies before. A real man, he'll be proud of your degree, but that's not what he's worried about. He doesn't care if you have two, three degrees or how much money you're making. Some men do need the help and the support and they want their wife to help them uh, to help support them with the house. It's nothing wrong with that. But what I'm saying is you're over here trying to some of you, not all of you, are trying to trade uh, chase two, three degrees and chase more money right now. You might be just getting ready to lose Caesar. Yeah, Caesar home. You might be getting ready to lose his ass because you want to chase the bank and chase your degree right now. Like, and then when you try to come back, little Caesar going to be gone. No Juliet, no Romeo, no Doe. She's not, let me stop. Um, but yeah, like, that's just something that somebody needs to hear. That's not for everybody, but there's a small fraction that need to hear that and need to know that. Because, look, a lot of men ain't willing to admit that. We in this new age BS world where it's just like, oh my God, it's so ass backwards. It's just crazy. I'm 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 old school. Like I I you know, there are some things I'm okay with, but I'm I'm old fashioned. I'm not saying I'm old fashioned with everything. And no, a man or a woman should never hit you. It don't matter what the gender is. Um, but what I'm saying is, is I'm just old fashioned in some ways. Some things I'm just like, look, I'm not saying that. Look, I'm proud that women get to have degrees and make money and all that i'm not saying that i'm for women rights hell i want women across the world to have more rights what i'm saying is depending on the caliber of man that you are dealing with when you are dealing with a real man not a little boy even though he have a car or he have a house or he's paying his bills that don't make you a real man and i'm about to get pull these other two cards but for some reason i feel um it, it's i need to say this you, you know, you're, you're, where is it at? I'm about to say it because I, I said this before somewhere. Let me, let me find it right quick. Do not go anywhere because we're almost done with this reading. Um, it is right here. 
right here. Here it is right here. We all mature and reach adulthood at different ages in our lives. Only a fool would say otherwise. Um, that's, that's just the honest truth. So understand, it does not matter what he has. All this, oh, that makes him a high value man and all that bullshit. So get, get off the gas. That's that new age shit that they pulling you into and want you to believe. Let me tell you, understand. A good man or a good woman is hard to find. Do not mess that up. That's all I'm saying. Free yourself. It might be time to free yourself from the madness of your comfort zone. And we are going back to this for some reason. Group B, you need to free yourself from the madness of your comfort zone. Um, you're, 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 you're thinking about self. And there's nothing wrong with thinking about self. But if you want that ring on your finger and you want that person by your side, then you need to free yourself from the madness of your comfort zone. And you need to stop... Uh, I said this in group A, um, group one, you need to stop being so damn controlling. And definitely for you, I feel like you're being controlling. Now, I'm not saying, wait, I'm about to get on the, the other party, too, because the other party could be on some bullshit, too, for some reason. I feel like they are not doing everything that they are doing. They need to be doing. Um, They need to stop doing whatever they're doing, you know. They need to be more honest, more uh, more honest, more blunt and be up front with you and let you know, look, this is what I want. They could be scared and afraid to lose you or something like that. Um, or maybe they're just like, look, I don't know how to get this person to understand. Like, I'm trying to be with them, but they really don't see it. Like, sis don't get it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, she just ain't like. She ain't, she ain't getting it. Like, you know, shorty a little baddie. Anyway, um, but yeah, like, if y'all quit playing, um, one of you or the other is going to be seen. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come. What you say? It's going to be that Ray Charles coming for real to you. You're going to be hitting the roller, Jack. Uh, roller Jack, not Roller Chack. And you're going to be hearing another song, Ray Charles' song, when he threw all the women out of the damn um, studio. I believe in my soul. If you don't quit playing, you're going to be freeing yourself, and you're really going to go around and find out and believe in your soul. Um, unrequired love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So, for a small few of you guys, there is not enough attraction or love to keep this relationship going. Again, this person was only a, um, they were just somebody that came into your life to teach you a lesson. Nothing more. For others of you, that is not the case. For others of you, you need to put more time, patience, and communication into this relationship. The reason why there is not enough attraction or chemistry because you guys are not putting in the work. Maybe both of you are all about your careers or your businesses, your business, your business, um, or you guys in college or something like that, or working, whatever you guys are doing. Maybe you guys are a young couple. Maybe one of you guys are older or one of you guys are younger. It, who knows? It could be a vast number of things. But if you guys want this to work, you guys got to put the damn work in and you got to stop playing around. Um, Because if it, like for you way off in the future it is probably what's going to happen. It, you're not going to get a ring on your finger next moon. And if you do get a ring on your finger, one of you are probably going to reject the other and say, you know what? Not right now. Um, on holiday. But it's worth the wait for those who put the work in and do what they need to do. This is worth the wait. Remember that.
you might you might you might be waiting next year to get this ring on your finger because you guys do have a lot of work that you guys have to put in way off in the future. Later than you think, but it will happen. Peace and prosperity. Um, well, you know what? Before I say that, if you liked this reading and you enjoyed this reading, this was my first time ever doing a reading like this, but for some reason I felt I needed to. So if you like it, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, also, if you would like me to, if you would like to book a personal reading or a one on one coaching or one question or two questions, please hit me up in my email. That link is, uh, the link to my email is below. Um, yeah, if you would like me to do a different type of reading in the future or something that I haven't done before or um, you want to ask me a question in, in the comments, please feel free to go for it. Um, peace and prosperity to everybody. I'm out.